Governor, uh, right now, holidays, there's still some anxiety. We saw people going to see Star Wars over the past week and had to be let out of theaters because of concerns over security at some of these different yeah. theaters. People going to the malls and worried about security. Uh, we have a brand new poll that just came out about an hour ago. We want to get your take on this. And here's what has Americans anxious this holiday season. They're worried 55% they think pose the greatest terror threat to the United States, homegrown jihadists, which we talked with many experts here on the show. Very difficult to find, very difficult to track. How would you as president handle this threat to America? Well, first, I think you have to take out ISIS. The caliphate is where the energy exists, where every day that they're contained, as the president has bragged about, is another day that they can send out their messages of hatred to radicalize people all around the world. Secondly, we need to use the eyes and ears of 800,000 law enforcement officers. They're trained. They're capable. They do an extraordinary job keeping us safe. They ought to be part of this. The FBI and the other agencies at the federal level need to coordinate amongst themselves, but also use the local law enforcement. And we have to be vigilant. We can't stop what we're doing, uh, but we have to be more vigilant because we're living under this threat. It's real. I, I'm not surprised that 55 percent view this as the biggest threat. But we can't allow them to win by being paralyzed. Well, and some terror analysts have said that even if you, you, if you nuked ISIS in Iraq and Syria, they could repopulate somewhere else within a year because of the ideology. So how do we get out in front of this and win in the technology game to, to stop uh, them from being able to recruit and radicalize? Even Westerners, like we saw in that, that poll there, it's 55% are worried about these jihadists that are, that are homegrown terrorists. So how do we get in front of it? Well, first, we, this is a long war. This is not going to be something where you can do it kind of like a video game from up above. You have to do this over the long haul. And you're correct. If, the, if a void is, uh, exists, a void will be filled. We have to also not only destroy ISIS, but create stability in Iraq and, and uh, Syria and the Middle East. And that requires an engagement that the United States has not been willing to do, both politically, diplomatically, and certainly militarily. Uh, we have to do this for the protection of the homeland. That's not the only thing we need to do, because I think you're correct as well that cybersecurity needs to be much stronger. We need to have protections uh, as it relates to the metadata program that right. went away. We could strengthen that. There are things that we could do uh, to protect the homeland beyond dealing with the caliphate and Islamic terrorism around the world.